there's so much action on the street. There's all these markets, there's people selling flowers, there's all these murals, there's people hanging out, people hanging out at the bus station. There's just like tons of people walking around just like living their lives. Yeah. And it's great. What's up, P Nation? Today we're in San Francisco, California, and we are touring Haight-Ashbury and the Mission, two of the best neighborhoods in the city. This is one of Zach's favorite places to be in San Francisco. He's been here a lot, and this is my very first time, so I'm very excited to see the hippie capital of the world. Into the vibe. I smell incense everywhere. There's a lot of marijuana everywhere. As you can see behind me, the smoke shop is here. Weed in California wasn't legal till recently, but this place has been doing it hardcore ever since the summer of 69, which is when the hippie movement really started. Oh, they still have these fire things here from when they had the Great San Francisco Fire. I wonder if it works. I'm not gonna test it, obviously, but that's crazy. It's still here on the corner. Alright, so we're at the corner of Haight and Ashbury, which gives this neighborhood its name, Haight Ashbury. And this really was like the epicenter of hippie culture in like the 60s and 70s. And pretty much what happened was like, this was a regular San Francisco neighborhood and all these hippies just like ascended onto the town, made a huge ruckus. They did it in a very peaceful way though. And it really started this like huge movement all across the United States and all across the world. So with all that said about hippie culture, Hey Dashbury has kind of turned into less of like a hippie paradise and more into like a, a place to visit as a tourist. But it still has those foundations of like, oh wow, like this is really cool. It still celebrates its hippie culture, but it's really not so much hippie-esque anymore. There's a lot of homelessness. There's still a lot of color. There's a lot of like great shops you can go to, coffee shops, thrift shops, bookstores, eateries. And, like, look how cool this place is, because it really is magical. Okay, so we parked next to these buildings and apparently one of the locals just came up and told us that they are all different but the same. This one is winter, this one is spring, that one is summer, and the one down there is fall. This one's a fixer upper. I wonder how much it is. What do you guys think? Millions. Yeah, two or three probably. This is Leah's favorite and I really like how this is old but the bottom, it's like all modern. The entire print section. Wow. I think this is like for both of us, the songs of our soul is in Fleetwood Mac. So like we found an entire section devoted to Fleetwood Mac. That was really like a very unique experience. I've never been in a record store that big. I feel like no one's been in a record store that big. That place was huge. But now we're getting kind of hungry. And so we're heading to Whole Foods to find some very unique San Francisco treats that you can only find here in the city. All right, real, <laughs> I don't even know. All right, chocolate milk is what we came all this way for. If you know anything about us when we travel, we love chocolate milk. This bottle was $2 by itself. It is fresh, it's coming off on my finger. My best friend from San Francisco told me that this is a local creamery that makes a lot of different products, but milk is their forte. So we gotta shake it up. My favorite chocolate milk in the world is Kroger chocolate milk, so we'll see how this stacks up. And I know a lot of you guys are thinking like, what the heck, Kroger chocolate milk? But I've had chocolate milk in a lot of countries. Like every time we were at a grocery store in Thailand, Cambodia, Bulgaria, Romania, Greece, it didn't matter. It was like chocolate milk for life. Oh God, what the heck? This is like drinking ice cream. This is super thick and like, I don't even know what this flavor is. It's not powdery like normal chocolate milk. I know you guys don't even care about chocolate milk as much, but I figure I do, so why not tell you about what might be the best chocolate milk I've ever had? Let me see. It's different, but Kroger chocolate milk is still the winner. Now from one San Francisco institution to another, we're going to the Mission to find some tacos for lunch. All 
All right, now we have made it to the mission. This is actually the first neighborhood I came to when I came to visit my best friend Daniel, and it's where he used to live. It's also the oldest neighborhood in San Francisco. It's known for a lot of different things. It has a lot of history. There's the mission, like the mission, the building. Mm -hmm. But we're here today specifically to try a mission-style burrito that started here in this neighborhood. I can't wait. San Francisco like original. We've been looking all over the city for this and we haven't been able to find it. Like no grocery stores have it. We're like, you know, we're gonna find it in like the weirdest like gas station. You know what I mean? Like really just like strange location, but like truly original to San Francisco. I can't wait. We got the strawberry flavor. Oh my God, it's gonna be so good. What? <laughs> this looks so good. Okay, I don't, I, I don't know what this is. What is this? A tradition since 1928, strawberry flavor, but like what's on it? Is it like a sandwich? Mm. Oh, it's so cold. Oh, I got my hair in my mouth. Oh no. It is a sandwich. Oh my God, it's like a cookie sandwich, but like a Klondike bar. Oh my God. I was like not expecting these cookies to be so good. Like a brown butter sugar cookie. Is the only way that I can describe it right now. And it's milk chocolate with strawberry ice cream inside. Oh, so good. I am very impressed with the mission. There is so much, oh, there's so much action. There's so many noises. You actually feel like you're in a downtown somewhere. You know, like this is its own city, but inside San Francisco. There's so much action on the street. There's all these markets. There's people selling flowers. There's all these murals. There's people hanging out. People hanging out at the bus station. There's just like tons of people walking around just like living their lives. Yep. And it's great. I love it. This is really cool. Like this is a completely different vibe from any other neighborhood inside San Francisco. And I feel like it just feels more alive than any other part. And I did not expect that at all. Got our taco, oh wait, burrito. I am burrito. so excited for Leah to finally see Mission Dolores Park. I have been here so many times, it is now a San Francisco staple, and you're finally gonna experience it. Is that the mission? No. Oh. <laughs> That's the high school though. Oh, okay. I was say, like, it's gorgeous. <laughs> Every park in San Francisco has tons of dogs. There's so much like good people watching available. So yeah, it's nice. And they even have bathrooms. Ah! Burrito drop, oh no, is it okay? Maybe it is. We dropped our baby and it broke open a little bit, but we're gonna, we're still gonna eat it. I actually really like this. I like how it's like on one slope. Oh my gosh, what a great view! Let's talk about Mission Burrito. So the Mission Burrito is, honestly, it's like the classic burrito you think of today, but it started here in San Francisco. So it has rice, beans, meat, cheese, lettuce, tomato, like sour cream or crema, and guacamole. So this thing is very heavy. I saw her make it and there was a ton of stuff in it. So we got the El Pastor. Mm. Uh oh. We got the jello oh shots. Oh my god. I'm like having a hard time explaining what it actually tastes like. Just like the flavor of the meat is so delicious. Somebody come get her. She dancing like a. Taking a few bites to get down to a layer where like you can see all of the distinct ingredients. But they just complement each other so well. And honestly, this is a beautiful masterpiece. And the lady, she was like, Do you want spicy? And I was like, Yeah. And it's not even that spicy. It's just like everything like melds together so wonderfully. And the crema adds just like that creaminess texture to complement the tomato and the onion with the beef and it's just like oh it is so good all right and that is it for today we went to so many different neighborhoods what was your favorite one i really loved the mission it was just 
so vibrant and bright and I'm not gonna lie, I think my favorite part of the whole day was eating that burrito. Oh my it was the most delicious burrito I've ever had and I'm not even just saying that, it was so good. I really like the ice cream sandwich though, I don't know. Okay, I really like that part too, that's, that's unfair. <laughs> I think my, par my favorite part of the day was Mission Dolores Park because like it's just unmatched to sit on a hill like that and look at the city and all the people of the city and just like, you don't find that many places, you know? Today was great. Thank you so much for watching this day. We had a great hippie day in Haight-Ashbury and an even like better time in Mission. So yeah. thanks for watching. You guys, San Francisco has everything. This is a window washer that you plug into a wall and it washes your window. I mean, I don't even, what the heck is going on? Like honestly, what is life? Innovation. Innovation.